So I've been caught in a river current before, and it was like a traumatizing experience. The National Weather Service is warning of a high risk of rip currents as easterly winds are blowing at up to 25 miles per hour, and it couldn't come at a worse time. This is the beginning of spring break for students across the country, and that means Florida's beaches are gonna be packed. It was actually here at this beach. I got caught in one, and I was like out there for like an hour trying to get back in, and everyone's screaming, like swim parallel to the shore. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. Rip currents are dangerous, and the more you know about them, the more you can avoid them. What you want to look for is any spots where the water appears to be moving back out to sea. Typically, you will have uh, calm water in the middle with waves on both sides, and you can usually see the water actually looks like it's moving back out to sea. And then, of course, any structures like a pier will typically have, have a rip current flowing out next to them. So one of the biggest problems experts say is that even though people know what they're supposed to do, they panic and they don't do it. Try to relax, take a deep breath, and know that if you swim parallel to the shore, you'll probably make it back. The number one rule is always swim near a lifeguard. This is Kimberly Miller with the Palm Beach Post. Don't forget to check out my weather blog at palmbeachpost.com.